In our worldview today, North Korean leader Kim Jong-un has reportedly purged senior party officials, citing a grave incident that posed a threat to public safety. State media KCNA pointed to a lapse in the country's COVID-19 response as the reason for the shakeup, though it didn't specify what exactly that crucial lapse was. Officially, North Korea's claim to have zero COVID infections, but there are growing concerns about an outbreak, largely because of the country's limited health infrastructure. Reports of a health crisis in North Korea comes weeks after Kim admitted the country was facing food shortages stemming from the typhoon and floods last year, as well as the closure of its border with China. Record-breaking heat is taking a deadly toll in Canada. Officials in British Columbia say more than 230 people have now died since the heat wave began last Friday. Temperatures on Tuesday topped 115 degrees, setting a record for a third straight day. Police say they have redeployed dozens of officers to cope with the emergency, while schools and universities have been closed all week as a precaution. The same heat dome engulfing Western Canada, also wreaking havoc in Washington as well as Oregon. The heat has been so intense in Portland, it melted power cables and buckled roads. And the U.S. is reportedly days away from completing a formal withdrawal from Afghanistan. Reuters reports the U.S. military is well ahead of the September 11th deadline set by the president. The withdrawal comes as the Taliban insurgency ramps up attacks across the country, raising concerns about a full-blown civil war. As many as 1,000 U.S. troops are expected to remain in the country to help secure the U.S. embassy in Kabul, as well as the city's airport.